This is the Daily Apple. This is the Daily Apple where we round up the latest Apple news, rumours and leaks every day at 12 UTC. That's 11am London time in the summer. It's GMT, that's where we work. This is my pilot show, so please bear with me. Give me any feedback that you can on our YouTube channel or here on Anchor or on whatever podcast platform you find us on. My name is David from Living on iPad, and if you love Apple news, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell because you don't want to miss a thing. Fortnite owner takes Apple to court. You will probably have seen this by now. Ooh, we're doing an update. Following Fortnite, adding an option to completely bypass the App Store Apple has removed Fortnite from the App Store for breach of terms of service. This is absolutely not just an Apple thing. This has also happened with Google. Google has removed it from the Play Store because they've done exactly the same thing. Both of these platforms take a 30% cut of any revenues that are generated through the App Store. That's for in-app purchases, that's for app purchases in the first place. And basically Fortnite decided they don't want to pay that anymore. Every shop makes money. Let's say that Fortnite is Gillette. They want to give away their handles through the shop. They want people to buy the razor blade through the shop but not pay the shop. Seems like a bit of a weird thing that they think that would be okay. So as it is, Epic was absolutely expecting to be removed from the App Store as well. They already had a 62 page lawsuit ready and also a whole bunch of videos based on Apple's famous 1984 Macintosh advert that was played in the Super Bowl. So what do you think? Who's in the right here? Who's in the wrong? I'll throw down my position straight away on this. I think Epic is going to lose hard. Apple registers Apple Original Productions domain name. Apple has secured a new domain name for Apple Original Productions as they ramp up their Apple TV uh, Plus service, which has been free for the first year for anyone who bought an eligible device during that year. Obviously, we're now coming to the end of that first year and Apple is going to need to find a reason to keep people paying that $4.99 a month. Now, it was very light on content as it first came out, but I, as a space geek, was a massive fan of For All Mankind, and I'm really excited to see what else they come out with. And in the past month, they have signed new deals with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert Downey Jr., and Susan Downey, and also Martin Scorsese on uh, multi-picture and first look deals. So it's super exciting to see all of these big names coming to Apple TV+. Plus. Uh, I can't wait to see what they've got in store. I'm sure at one of this year's September or October, I believe it's going to be an October event, we will be seeing more Apple TV Plus stuff. Finally, Apple Pencil Color. The third generation of Apple Pencil is rumored to include a camera in the tip. Why would you need a camera in the tip of an Apple Pencil, you may ask? It's a very good question. I think it's going to be so that you can grab color from your environment, you can grab a color sample from a piece of wood that you're next to, or a, a wall that you love the color of, and paint straight into your app with that. So imagine for an interior designer being able to go through a swatch list of different paint colors, grab it literally from the real world, from a, a physical piece of paper, and then paint onto a canvas showing exactly what that room would look like in that color. That seems like a really cool idea. The other thing that I would love to see from Apple Pencil version three is a single one pencil to rule them all. Get rid of the original Apple Pencil, which is lightning powered. Get rid of the Apple Pencil two, which is the one that only works with the pros at the minute because they've got the magnetic charging on the top and get one pencil. It magnetically charges if it's on a pro or you get an Apple Pencil case, another kind of cool name, which basically works like an AirPods case for any of the iPads that don't have the magnetic charging built in. You have a little case that you keep in your bag you charge that up with uh, a lightning cable just like you do with your AirPods. Um, you charge up the little case and that will recharge your Apple Pencil while you're on the go. That seems like a really elegant solution to me. The case becomes optional for the guys that need it and if you've got a Pro then you can just stick it straight onto your uh, iPad as usual or you can keep it in the additional extra charging case if you want to save the battery in your iPad. What do you think about that idea? I think it will work and I also think that this Apple Pencil 3 will probably be compatible with some of the new Macs that are coming. If you're interested in my thoughts on that, check out our video on the 24 inch iMac rumors and my wish list for that. I think that Apple Pencil will support that and it might have a really movable screen that you can bring down into like an easel style. We've got some more rumors in that video, check it out. We've got another video which I will put up here which explains exactly what is coming with the 13 inch MacBook Pro powered by Apple Silicon. If you want to see more of this stuff, check out Living on iPad across all your social media platforms.